Pretty Meg here. Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you're here to watch today's video, which is all about transforming a dresser into a TV console. This piece was so much fun to do, and it was for my customer who wanted a unique piece with legs that she could put into her living room for her TV. So if you want to do this too, and you want to try it out, and you have the perfect piece to do it with, then keep watching and let me know what you think. So here it is, this beautiful dresser with all of those carvings in the middle, just beautiful for a TV console and perfect for that purpose. So what I had to do is take out the two outer drawers and take out the two pieces of wood there and the drawer runners so that I could fit two shelves inside there and two pieces of wood to go on either side of the middle drawer. So I measured it out, used my chalk line and then cut the two pieces, it looks like. So I fitted the two shelves in, and at this point I still have to cut the two boards that are going to go on either side of the middle drawer, and that's what it looks like from that angle. So I take off the hardware, the customer loved the original hardware, which is great, and I like to put them in the drawers to keep them safe, and this screw wouldn't come out, but I usually tape the backs of the holes so that the paint doesn't go through. So they wanted um, a dark walnut stain, which is called Old Masters. This is a beautiful color on spruce. And then I started to get ready to prime. So I did scuff sand and clean that entire piece. I like to fill, fill? I like to filter my primer. And this is the bin, Zinzer Bin 123. So usually I do add water to my paint and primer, depending on how thick they are. This was a thicker primer, and so is the paint I'm using. You can get these filters uh, off of Amazon in bulk, so I will link that below. They're really, really good filters. So, this is how much water I add. Maybe a little touch more after that, but you don't want the paint or primer to be really thick, and you don't want it to be too thin. So I'm using my Wagner sprayer which is the Wagner Flexio 5000. I keep my airflow at seven to eight and pull the nozzle down because I'm using a canister from my Studio Plus, which has a wider nozzle. On the Flexio 5000 sprayer, the nozzle is a bit smaller, so I like to keep the dial up. You're going to spray in even coats. Do not keep the sprayer on one area too long or it will pool and drip, you don't want that. I have to prime inside the entire piece here at the top where the drawers were so that those aren't seen. The middle doesn't matter so much because the drawer is going to be there. Then in between each coat of primer, I sand it with 600 grit sandpaper. You can even sand with 1000 or 2000. See the boards on the bottom? Those were for the either side of the middle drawer. I then used a uh, Rust-Oleum paint spray, which I love the spray in this brand, and I sprayed the original hardware. I also, I didn't show it here, but I did top coat the handles. I like to top coat them just for that extra durability. And sometimes I get bleed through, which is the natural tannins from the wood coming through the primer. So I really, really like the shellac bin spray primer. It really works. It's very good. It just smells really strong. So you need to wear a respirator or keep a door open for ventilation. You can see the yellow spots. Those are the bleed through. So spray in even areas, same like the sprayer, you're going to get pooling or dripping if you stay in one area too long. And this shellac spray usually keeps the bleed through out. So there were a few notches in the one leg, so I wood filled them and then used my Dremel to sand it down because my orbital sander wouldn't fit in that area. Always wear safety goggles. You don't want bits of hard, hard wood filler flinging at your eyes. So this ended up really smooth after sanding it. This is what it looks like so far. So you can see the two boards on the other side. That's what I was talking about. Then I sanded after the primer with 600 grit sandpaper. Always wear a respirator when you're spraying. So this is the paint. This is country chic paint. 
It is a little bit thicker, so I do like to add a bit of water. And I was trying out the Wagner Studio, or sorry, not the Wagner Studio, the Wagner Plastic Refill Paint Bags. If you're going to use these, I noticed that you really have to keep the top lid on, screwed on really tight, so that you don't get paint dripping down the sides. So that's about as much as water as I added, and then you're going to do the same as the primer, you're going to spray it on in even coats. And you can see the boards here again, on the other side of the middle drawer. You can even turn your nozzle horizontal or vertical so that you can get all areas. A lot of people ask me about spraying with drawers in and if they, like how do you get the trim? Well, this is how I do it. I use an angle brush. This is a country sheet paint angle brush and then I just paint the trim afterwards. So here is the final piece, a dresser turned into a TV console and it looks absolutely beautiful in its new home and my customer is really, really happy. So thank you for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed that video. Yes, it was a timely piece that took some time and a lot of work, but worth it in the end. And it turned out so beautiful and my customer is really happy. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know. And if you try this out, let me know too how it goes. And I will be back very soon with a new video, new project. Thank you for watching.